Hi and welcome to this new video of Deep Dark Ross. In this video and probably in the next few videos if you're interested, uh, we're going to talk about uh, Ross 2 drones. So it's something that it's starting to be a thing and I've created this uh, first Ross jet so that I can show you what can be done or at least uh, a starting point and then in the comments below please leave uh, whatever you are interested in that I, I can explain about this topic. So uh, I'm using here this repository uh, that it's from LS2N Drone, ROS2 and it's for Galactic. So it's the latest version of ROS2. To set up you in your local computer, you have to follow all the steps of the Git. I won't go into detail that, but essentially it's go step by step and install everything. And, and then some tweaks and stuff that you will have to change depending on your computer. In this case, uh, if you use the project that I leave in the video description down below, uh, you'll only have to execute these commands here of the notebook that also will be in this project. And what it does is start a gazebo simulation of the drone and it also starts PX4, uh, which is the, the system that communicates it, it that it's used for uh, drone. Let me let me just show you real, real quick. So this is the the PX4 um, website, and here you you'll find all the details that you want about it. So this is used by um, drone pilots and so on as an API and it's open source. So I'll leave the link in the video description. But essentially we're starting those two systems. And then we're starting a third system, which is the ground control. The ground control is the one that talks with the PX4 and you can use it for both real and simulated robots because we are using the PX4 um, API. And then ROS2, what it does is have a plugin. It has a plugin that and a bridge that makes this connection as if we had a PX4 uh, supported drone in the simulation. This way, everything that you develop in this system, you can use it in other mm, drones that are using the same PX4 format and API. So it's really handy. Uh, so let me show you just how a very tiny demo. So you'll have to launch first this ROS2 launch, which starts a single drone. This system can support until I think it's 250 drones at the same time. So we launch the simulation and we wait for it to start. This starts um, three things. Uh, um, the drone center management system, the bridge that communicates ROS2 and PX4. Uh, it makes that transition uh, and then the, the simulation so the world and it spawns the, the drone so you should see something like this so it's a very simple world and you have this drone here that we are going to click and hit follow that way we will be able to see when it uh, takes off. So once we have this, then we have, we have to start the PX4 uh, system. And again, this is used for um, controlling swarms of drones and not only drones, but any kind of vehicle, uh, air or 
or sea or ground, so it's really versatile. Okay, and then in theory you should be able to see this uh, fake joystick and if you hit spin the the propellers should start moving around you know, quite far but they just start spinning this is the, um, the way that you have to test and see that everything is connected and working once you have this then the only thing that you have to do is launch this um, ground control um, for for some reason uh, i couldn't get the um, the app working by default i had to extract it but you just have to go to this folder and then just run app run i think it has support for mac os uh, android and loads of stuff Okay, once we have it, in theory, you should have something similar to this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off. There we go. Then it asks me for takeoff ground to confirm. And then you have to slide. That's it, and then it starts. There you go. And we have um, an altitude of around two meters. There you go. And that's that's quite it. So in this in this software, we can do many many things. I'll do a video on this software specifically if you're interested on that and also I'll work on some other stuff like GPS having giving support and this kind of stuff you can do uh, planning you can also manually move it more or less it so um, leave a comment of anything that you want to know and leave a like if you like the video until then peace